This is Watch Your Style. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Audemars Piguet Open Work. Alright, so there's several things I want to mention about this watch. And the first thing I want to say is that originally the, the first generation of this model all right, was the 39 millimeter open work skeleton, whatever you guys want to call it. And look, I love that watch, but ever since I used to see it, it was kind of like, eh, you know, kind of that 39 millimeter, I kind of felt like it felt kind of short. And that's something that just kind of bothered me. And then all of a sudden, bam, the 41 millimeter Royal Oak double balance. And I said, God damn, now we're talking. You know, that, that totally changed it for me. Immediately, I completely just eliminated the 39 millimeter open work from my mind. Just, you're dead to me. That's kind of the way I felt about it. You know, this watch right now, the way it looks, stunning. It's out of control. Um, it's called the double balance because if you don't notice, it has uh, double escapement wheels, pretty much. Uh, a lot of people ask me, they're like, yeah, I'm calling about the Turbion you have for sale for uh, $80,000. Impossible. There is no AP Turbion in that price range, especially on worn or new models. So this is kind of like, it's kind of like a badass watch without having to go into the charted waters of Turbion prices. So if you're trying to get something that has a lot of like oomph and look and a skeleton dial, you know, the Royal Oak Double Balance Wheel Open Work is probably gonna be your best option. It's available in two options. You got the Rose Gold or the Stainless Steel. As much as I like the Rose Gold one, I feel like my favorite one might be the Steel. Um, I don't know, just something about that Steel 41 with the skeleton dial that just plays amazing. I simply love this watch and there isn't enough of them right now. There's like a crazy hype about them and you just can't get them. So one thing I want to mention to you, and there's always, like I had mentioned about the 39 millimeter, I'm going to show you the easiest way to know which one's a 39 and which is a 41. You know, this is for somebody that doesn't know that much yet. One of the things you'll notice on this watch is that there is a giant gold bridge that goes from one side to the other, holding the escapement wheels. That is your best way to know that it's a 41 because the 39 millimeter, it's all the same color as the rest. It's all that gray gunmetal color. So if you see that, that gold bridge, okay, holding the balance wheels, that's how you know it's a 41 millimeter. So let's talk about pricing. There's nothing to talk about. These watches, you cannot find them. You're going to be paying over retail and you'll be lucky if you pay retail. You know, this is not one of those limited editions. This is what I would like to call limited production. They don't say it, they don't state it, but there's just not gonna be a lot of them. They're gonna hold production to raise demand, you know? So if you're lucky enough to get a hold of one, grab it, don't think about it. You could pay a little bit more. You know, the gold one is going easily, $5,000 over retail. And I justify that a thousand times better, or a thousand times more than 5,000 over retail for a ceramic steel Daytona. I mean, look at this damn thing, you know? As far as the watch game goes, you're killing it. Freaking killing it. You got an, you have a Royal Oak open worked on your wrist, you're doing some damage. I don't care if it's steel or rose, or if you wanna go that crazy route. I've seen a couple of them fully flooded. Jesus Christ, I mean, that thing's out of hand. I love this watch. It's sporty, it's elegant, it's everything. Um, I don't even think I even need to see a version of it with the leather strap. I don't even think it's necessary. I think they hit it perfect with this model. So if you like this model or you don't, feel free to leave me some comments on this video. And if you like this video, please like and share. Also, remember to subscribe to our channel. My name is Eric. Watch your style.